Mr. Webb, you and your girlfriend say there's no chance whatsoever that you fathered the defendant's six-month-old daughter, Majestic. You say your evidence will shock this courtroom. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Cole, you and your mother say you're 100% certain that Mr. Webb is your child's biological father and say the only reason he's denying your baby is to save his relationship with the woman he's been with for the past three years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Mr. Webb, how can you be so certain you are not this child's biological father? I never had sex with her, Your Honor. (laughs) Well, that would rule you out. You never had sex with her? No. Yeah. He did. She's a liar. (laughs) She's crazy. Ms. Cole, we've heard a lot of defenses in this courtroom. Rarely have we ever heard that you've never had sex with her. She's absolutely crazy. So you think she's just making this up? Yeah. No, I'm not. If you've never had sex, why why are you here? I know for a fact the dates line up, and I know he stayed with me for two months, and he slept in my bed with me for one night, and we had sex. April 11th. That's when you believe you conceived your daughter? Yeah. Mr. Webb, this is strange. What was the nature of your relationship? We never had sex or anything. We were just friends. We would chill out. That was it. You were never intimate with her in any way. I never stayed in her bedroom. I stayed out on the couch. That's a lie. And on top of that, I was only there for a week, a week week and a half. That's not true. That's a lie. Miss Cole, all right. Take me back to the night you believe you conceived. I can't exactly remember, but I know that it was a night that we was partying. Oh, yeah, right. He ain't like that. Your Honor, the worst that we've ever done is take a picture... And she was already in the bathroom. She had called me in there. When I walked in the bathroom, she said cheese and took a picture before I could even say anything. I didn't even want to take that picture. That's how crazy she is. She posted it on Facebook. She posted it She posted on Facebook. And when I told her to take it down, she refused to because she's crazy. Come on. You know dang good and well that me and my husband took care of you the whole time you, you were there. I didn't see you the one you, time, the no. whole time I was yeah, there. Yeah, you were in her. All right, let's get some order. Rachel, you need help just much sooner. Let's get some order. So, Ms. Cole, you said you and your husband were taking care of Mr. Webb? Yes, and my grandkids and anybody else that needed. You're a liar. You you're are a liar. A liar. You are a liar. You Everything are. that you're, you're saying. Liar. She my was on the phone with me five, six times you're a day. You're why, no, why was Mr. Webb living with you? He's a punk bomb. We, your Honor, we supplied I would... everything for them. Their food, Everything. Everything. And Why were you her? living there? I wasn't living there. We were hanging out for a week, a week and a half. Right. And on top of that, April 18th, I had moved back to Detroit. How was I there for two, two, three months? But why I were you home. staying there with them for a week if you had a girlfriend? She had knew about it. We were friends. She trusts me. She knows I'm not, I'm not like that. I don't do that type of stuff. I've known him for seven years, and he is not like that at all. And you yeah, called me, and, and you say, called me with his friend, telling me that he was there for three weeks, and you guys were having sex, and blah blah blah. At first, I did believe that, but then I heard you his story, and none sure of that. Shut up! I am talking. Hold on. Let's be respectful. So anyway, she was telling me that they were sleeping together and stuff. He wasn't even there for three weeks. He was there for a week, maybe a week and a half. Just over there. Yes, he was. Hang- I knew they were hanging out. I don't understand this, do you, Jerome? I never knew they were talking. We didn't even know that they I were never together. Knew that. You didn't that talk her six times a day. How did you not <laughs> She's know? She's the one that called me with his friend. She had heard her voice in the background numerous times. How does that make sense? So you're over there hanging out, partying, because what? you're friends with Miss Cole. He had multiple friends there when they had the party. And what you're saying is you never ended up being intimate with her, like no. she's saying. No. All right, where did you sleep? On the couch, in the living room. Are you... Is there something wrong here? Mr. Webb, how did you find out she was pregnant? Can, um, I, can I show you? Do you have a diagram? Yes. I'd like to see it. Please, step forward. This is how this went, the first message. She messaged me saying, hey, I got an ultrasound. I said, okay, can we leave it at that, Tasha? It's not my baby. I'm not trying to... I'm trying to do right in my life and move on. And this is not doing either of us any good, so just do me a favor and stay out of my life in the inbox. At this point, I'm thinking... I feel like she's trying to say that I'm the baby daddy, but not, but just hinting, not actually saying it. All right. Okay. So here's the second one. This is what came next. I told her, I said, I'm not trying to be mean. I just want this to end. Cause I'm not a mean person. I'm not a hateful person. But when it comes to her and what she's put me through with the lies the last year, I can't take it no more. She had sent me a message back. 
saying by what the doctor is saying, the due date matched to when we blanked, that's all I'm going by. After this, this is where I'm like, she's literally crazy. Cause now I understand what she's saying. At the, the first text, I'm thinking, okay, she's hinting towards it. Now she's full blown out trying to say that we did stuff. So that's what I'm like, there's something wrong with her. Okay, this is the last one. This is how this ended. She had sent me an ultrasound saying, that's a 3D photo. Tell me she don't look like you. <laughs> are you that crazy? How crazy are you that I look, do I look like an ultrasound? Who, I had never, I got on Google because I, I don't know like much about baby yeah, stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking, is that a, a, is that a thing now? So I said, Tasha, you're crazy. We didn't blink. I'm not the father to your baby. Please leave me alone. And that was that. I just didn't want to deal with her anymore. I still don't. Oh, my goodness. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did he ever acknowledge that he was the father? He admitted to oh, my dad. You are not. a liar. He yeah. admitted not. to my cousin that he was the dad. What do you think, Mr. Webb, is Miss, Miss Cole's motive if you say you've never slept with her? Why manufacture all of this? I think she's obsessed with me. She's obsessed with me or something. No. I don't know what it is. I've been trying to figure There's out the There's one reason year. why I'm here. Her to know is. for sure he's the dad because I did have another partner. It was a month. A month prior. I'll find out. No, I told you there was another possibility, and I told the other possibility there was another. But you also told them another... that you were 100% sure that I was a father. You and your mom said that. Wait a minute, Miss Cole? Look, she looks just like him. That baby's white. He is dark. I'm sorry, but I'm Puerto Rican. Okay. I, I, that's all I got to say. Miss Cole, Miss Cole. What? You're saying that you were honest, and don't say what. I'm sorry. Yes, you're honest. <laughs> oh, let me take a breath. <laughs> Ms. Cole, so you admitted there's another possibility, and you say you've been up front since the beginning. It's either Mr. Webb or this other gentleman. Yeah, as soon as I took the pregnancy test, I immediately texted him and called the other guy, and I told both That's of them. That's lie. I was for certain that the other guy was the dad uh. until my, ba <laughs> my due date got changed a month ahead, which would make him the dad. It went from... February 22nd to January 28th. You submitted a calendar to the court, am I correct? Oh, you have another copy. Jerome, let me see that, please. So this calendar outlines what exactly? Uh, In red is the date you were intimate with Mr. Webb on oh, the 11th of April. Yep. Yeah. And then my conception was... The window of conception is in blue. Yep. Yeah. So that's the week prior to the 11th. Yep. Yeah. And then Majestic was born on the 28th of January, correct? Yes. When were you intimate with the other guy? She don't even know. May, May uh, 15th, 16th. How do you get those two mixed up? That's over a month. How are you going to say that you think it's him and then over a month? Because the due date. The due no. date. The doctor no, just, gave the due date. You. These are things that she has literally made herself believe. She made herself believe these lies that she's telling. But Mr. Webb says he never slept with you. And he did. But he did. For sure, yeah. It was a lousy, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Your Honor. Okay, there was two witnesses there that said that, there, that they never had sex at the party. The night that she said that we had sex or whatever, two of our friends were there. One of them were her family members, and even he said that we didn't do nothing. They were up, we, they were partying with us the whole night. And so, I was even but if, if, if you're sleeping at the house and you all are partying, I won't ask what that means, but if it goes on for a week and a half, I really don't think it's anything positive. Um, so, if it goes on that long, are you sure that one night of partying didn't lead you to sleep with her and you may not even recall? You know, I've actually... Or uh, want to admit in front of your girlfriend? Yeah. No, I've thought of the possibility. Yep. Me and her have had this conversation over and over. She knew I was over there partying. I didn't hide nothing from her. We talked He's that night on the phone me. over four, this from four or five times. Well, you could talk on the phone with her four or five times a day and still end up in the bed with Miss Cole. I mean, that's well, doable. Every, every time I party, I've never been the type to wake up and not remember what I've, what I've done the night before. I know myself. That's just how it is. Unless there's something I don't know, like her drugging me or something. Without, yeah, without, Miss Cole, without being too graphic, are there any other details, specifics that you can um, share that would prove your case? 
I can tell you how big his winker is. Whoa. It's pretty small. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I could tell you plenty of times. It's about I've that big. I've known him for seven years. It's no, about that big. No, definitely not. Definitely not. And don't you dare tell Sam about his penis. All we're here to do is to find life, out period. if he's the father. I was without my father for 39 years. I want to know that my grandchild has a father. It's Pretty bad. It ain't me. Not having a dad. I know how it is. My mom. That's the only reason we're dad. here. Your Honor, can I show you something? <laughs> what is that you have, sir? This is. Oh you yeah, know, I do want to ask. Some text messages I'm sent. sorry. I'm still getting over the previous testimony. Jerome, pass me this evidence. <laughs> These are text messages of her telling me that she—it's either me or the other guy. She's not even sure. It's no, just, so this until, is a, these are text it's messages. Just, it's just until now that she decided that it's for sure 100% me. No. But does that text to you, does it look like to you that she's for sure? Because my due date changed. <laughs> so this reads, nothing about this is hard. It's not my baby, so just stop, man. This is from you. I hope you find whoever it is, bye. You write to her again. And then she writes to you, it's you or a white dude. It will be clear when I see her. Guarantee she don't even know the name to the dude. Yeah, actually I do. So you admit here, actually this further uh, lends credibility to your earlier testimony, Miss Cole, where you said Nothing. it's yeah. either you or another <laughs> gentleman. Yes. Now yeah. on uh, on the monitor, it, there's a split screen. Look at the gnomes. Of the gnomes Webb like and nothing? Majestic. <laughs> she needs glasses too. Definitely. So. <laughs> you believe there's a resemblance. Oh Definitely. yeah, for sure, yeah. You obviously don't see oh, it. Oh my, my God, no. <laughs> She was dark up until she was three months old. Yeah, she, she was lightened dark up. the first two she hours white. she was born. She lightened up. I can't even... And this picture is to show what, exactly? That th that baby don't look nothing like So me. you're saying there's an absolutely no resemblance? Absolutely nothing. That baby's just straight white. I ain't white, I'm brown. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely brown. You're not that brown. Yes, he is. He's Puerto Rican and Indian. Yeah, he's brown. You see my skin color? Are you Honestly, blind? You've seen his you, body. You, get, so you know he is brown. Somebody get this girl some glasses, dude. We know that children come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Moving on. Miss Cole, has she ever said, Mom, really, the other guy's the father? Or is she really hoping Mr. Webb is the father? No, she's not hoping that Mr. Webb is the father. Good. No. What has she said about the other guy? She doesn't want him to be the dad either. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... Neither one of honest, them are any good. Neither one of them are, you know, gonna neither mount to anything. No. All right, let's move on. Let's deal with the paternity. You all are getting on my last nerve. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Your Honor. Majestic is six months old. Yeah. She obviously has no relationship with either man. No. No. Have you ever seen her, Mr. Webb? No. Held her? No. Has, and the other gentleman has not either? He's incarcerated. Okay. Mr. Webb, if you are this child's biological father, are you willing to be a father? That's not something I've thought about considering I didn't have sex with her. So, I mean, it's just never something I've really thought about, honestly. It's something that I have to sit down and think about by myself. You did, too, sleep with me. And you know that. Yeah, I'm done arguing. The truth so. will come out in a few minutes, so. Good, we're waiting. And I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> Miss Cole. You. Like, that's gonna do something. Yes. I do have the results. Sorry. Jerome. Here you go, Your Honor. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Webb versus Cole, when it comes to six month old majestic Cole, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Webb, you are not her father. Oh! oh. Yeah, uh, you're crazy. Ms. You need Webb. to go to a mental hospital. Ms. Webb. There, get her there. Get her there. Mr. Suicide Webb, Ms. Reams. Stop. But I want a lie detector. Listen, yeah, that's, that's we that's don't that's clown that. in this courtroom. I know you probably feel relieved, vindicated, but at the same time, there's a beautiful young baby whose life and paternity is still at issue. Ms. Cole, you stood firm in your testimony that you were intimate with Mr. Webb. Yes. And this other guy. Yes, Your Honor. Have you mentioned this pregnancy to the other guys? I told both of them after the same day I took the pregnancy test. Which is and have you spoken to the other guy since? No. And I'm gonna be writing him a letter now. The other guy? Yeah. 
but he's a lot better. He's he's a lot better. He's not, not better. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, we have counseling and resources available to you. Thank to God. help you, because I'm I'm a little concerned. <laughs> we are. I'm, I'm, it, stop laughing. Stop laughing. I apologize, Sean. Stop laughing. It really isn't funny. Whatever the partying and all this stuff is, you took part in it, and it landed you right here. This is not I really funny. He was the dad. Miss Cole, what are you feeling in this moment? I just I really thought he was the dad. I really thought he was the dad. That's why. But I mean, I just feel really stupid. <laughs> Ms. Sanders, you admit to having another man sign your six-month-old son Caleb's birth certificate, but now say that Caleb's real biological father is the defendant, Mr. Jamarvis Brady. Yes, Shauna. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that Mr. Brady is your son's father. Yes, Shauna. Mr. Brady, you claim it is genetically impossible that you are Caleb's father and therefore the plaintiff needs to get her child expenses from her son's real daddy. Yes, Your Honor, I do. So, Ms. Sanders, what has Mr. Brady done exactly for baby Caleb since his birth? No, he has not done anything, Your Honor. Um, I have to get Caleb baby food. I have to get him diapers, clothes, everything. Your and Honor, I admit that is not that. cheap. Does he visit the baby? I came that's, through the neighborhood one that's day. The reason why I and he visit. asked me if he could see why my would baby. I take care of a baby that's not mine. Why would I visit a baby that's not mine? I Look how pretty visit my baby is. How can you deny a pretty baby? I, I don't care about the baby being pretty. I care <laughs> if I, about if the baby's mine or not. Why would I take you wait care this of long? my responsibility, not another man's. Why do you doubt this beautiful baby is yours? The first thing is the green eyes. No one in my family has green eyes. May I show you, my, Your Honor? Yes. <laughs> Starting with my grandparents. My grandma don't have brown eye, green eyes. <laughs> my granddaddy don't got green eyes. My mama or my daddy. Her either, obviously. Me, I definitely don't have brown, green eyes. I'm trying to figure out where these green eyes come from that's on this baby. Because it, it ain't my family. And okay, I'm looking so, at them. It ain't their family either. Well, maybe... May <laughs> Maybe Miss Sanders has green eyes when my and that genetic first trait seen, in her family. When my grandmother first seen Caleb, she said, those are my father's eyes. You don't know what's down in your gene pool. He probably got brown eyes, too. You ain't seen him. What are the other reasons why you doubt this child is yours? Because it's constant stuff coming up with Karen, like, all the time. Like, for, what do you mean? Explain. When I first came and found out about the baby, I didn't find out but, um, through Catherine. I found out through a friend who seen it on Facebook. And I popped up at the house. I ain't call, I ain't text, none of that. I just popped up. And when she finally came to the door, she said, Caleb don't need you in his life. So you're saying she didn't even inform you that she was pregnant? She told me in the beginning. In the beginning? Yes. But then when is this time you had to pop up at the house? This was after the baby was born. Okay, so when she told you she was pregnant, why Man, didn't you go to an appointment? Uh, I tried. Participate. I initially tried to go to the appointment, John. Like, I tried a lot. Catherine's just a handful. He was playing me from the left because I didn't want to be with him no more. So I he got mad you. because I That's got back with my ex. Love. He said he don't want me, but he constantly takes my phone to tell so what's up? I come to the house, dudes coming and going all the time. Like, I hey, left her house. How you gonna tell I me that dudes coming and going, but you I not... I left her house a dude and the dude see... came through, the same dude who she was texting. How her you gonna get... came through while I was pulling off. So you telling me that if you see somebody with your girlfriend, you ain't gonna get mad and try you to fight? You wasn't my girlfriend, you just... We, we was broken up. So you, you ain't just, gonna get mad and try to fight? You ain't nothing but my potential baby mother. His stories are not matching up. It don't make no sense. You ain't nothing but my potential baby mama. Have no. you asked Mr. Brady for any help? Did you say to him, sir? At the beginning, I did, but he's so nonchalant about everything. It's not even a point to even talk to him. He, we don't Your have Honor, any I communication. I initially tried to take care communication. of communication. You did? Yes, ma'am. No, he has not. When you say you initially tried, I was. did there. you succeed? Did you actually help 
take care of the child? No. Yes, the first three months of her pregnancy, I was there. At the, I made sure she took her vitamins. I no, made he sure did she not. Was, she was at all of her, of her appointments on time. Did he go to appointments with no, you? No, ma'am, not at all. And I had a very rough pregnancy. My son, while I was pregnant, he had assist on his brain. And the whole time, they were saying that, you know, if the assist don't disappear, that he could possibly have Down syndrome. Just a lot that was going on with my pregnancy. Even when I had him and pushed him out, he was still going through a lot. His heart rate dropped from, like, 140 down to 70. So I had to hurry up and push him out. It, I pushed him out in about four minutes. He was, my water broke at 9.56. He was born at 10 on the diet. And his umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck and everything. It was a rough pregnancy. And Mr. Brady was never there. Wow, that is, that was, uh, I'm so glad everything turned out fine. Mr. Brady, yeah, I gotta I'm... ask you, she's going through a lot here. Why weren't you there? Yeah, Honor, she, I, when I tried to take care of him, and all that, she told him she didn't need my help. And plus, why would I take care of a baby that's not possibly mine or is mine with grief? He, when yeah. I was pregnant, he never even cared. Only thing he cared about was some shoes. When I first told him that I was pregnant, I called Mr. Brady and I told him, I said, I'm pregnant. I want to let you know. He just sat on the phone, didn't say anything. I'm saying, hello, hello. Yeah, Anna, she, she let another the man whole sign time, the birth certificate. Yes, I did let another man sign the birth certificate, but, the, but when I first told him I was pregnant, when the doctor told me the times, and when I was with him, I had a cycle. But when me and him broke up, I didn't have a cycle anymore. So I told him what baby, was going on. Let another man sign I the told him what was going on. When I told him, he just wanted to just act all nonchalant on the phone. So I was like, okay, whatever. I don't even want to talk no more. He said, hold on, wait. But you still gonna give me them shoes? My baby, why she he asked about some shoes. He wanted you to get him some get him, shoes. Get him, me and him. We talked about getting some shoes. So he never had a job or anything. So why would I put a baby on someone who couldn't even help me take care of the baby? Your but Honor, he says you had another man sign the birth certificate. Yes, my ex boyfriend. Before me and Jamaris got together, I was with someone. And to get back at my ex-boyfriend, me and Jamari started talking. So after me and him stopped talking, I got back with my ex. And my ex, he was, he was real understanding. He was just saying, you know, we just gonna work through this. We gonna, you know, have this baby. We gonna do what we have to do. And he was the one who was actually there when I had my baby. So yes, he did sound a birth certificate, but we got DNA tested and found she, that he was not the father tell anyway. She she was gonna deliver. She he didn't, didn't even tell me she was delivering the baby or nothing, Your Honor. So did you inform him that the baby was on its way? No. You didn't? No. You tested another man. Yes. You found out that he was not the father. Yes. And after you got that conclusion, you knew that at this point, Mr. Brady was the only other option? Yes. And you're positive that he was the only other option? Yes. If she was sure that the baby's mine, why would she let him sign the birth certificate instead of telling me out the, out the dribble? Like, I've I have been the told him that I was pregnant. Me. He never cared. Let me see the birth certificate, sir. Yes, there is, in fact, another man's name listed on the birth certificate as father. Yes. So why would you put another man's name on the birth certificate Just as father? Because your boyfriend could have still stepped up and been an integral part of this child's yeah. life without having his name on the birth certificate. I just didn't want my son to not have someone listed as his father on the birth certificate. It was just something that was inside me instead of just having it blank. And this man was going to be in his life like he said he would. I just wanted him to know, even if this is not your biological father, he still wants to be your but father. But what still about wants when she was life. texting him when she was texting the dude at work, my coworker. He comes, I, I don't understand why he keeps saying his coworker when I was, he never had a job. So what coworker Your is Honor, he talking about? Your Honor, I've been working for nine months consecutive. Nine months, months and my school. son's six months and I was pregnant. You have to be pregnant for nine months, right? And Caleb is six months. They I've don't been add up. I school for nine months. Yep. So, what, okay, so what month was I texting this man if you had to be pregnant for nine months, then Caleb is six months, so that's 14 months, so... You're saying you had a job for nine months? Yes, ma'am. And she was texting the co-worker? Yes. When was she texting this co-worker, We was on the line one day. I used his phone to call someone. A number comes through, which is Miss Sanders' phone number. I don't know. Mm. It wasn't. So are you saying this was during the window of conception, so you believe she was also sleeping with your co-worker when she was sleeping with you? Yes, ma'am, I do. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. So you telling me that you seen me text somebody else, but you didn't get mad? You called. You called. I you called somebody. I Which one was it? We call both know I, I don't get mad about... I don't get so mad. So you gonna get she mad. She just said it herself, Your Honor. <laughs> he got... So you telling me that you not mad about me texting somebody or calling Honor, somebody, I'm but you... I, okay. So <laughs> you saw anything. this number... Man. You saw this number come through. I wait. Did you have a relationship with his co-worker, Ms. No, ma'am, not at all. He is making... He is telling the truth. He is really she trying to called, put for the court. She called right while now. I was on the phone trying to use his so phone. So why he didn't answer the phone? I my phone call because If it was me, then why he... 
if it was me and he knew Do it was me, me and him person he's talking about? I, ma'am, he don't even have a job, so what job is he talking about? You brought a witness, ma'am. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. And state your name. Jacqueline Durham. Ms. Durham, thank you for joining us. Please explain how you're related to the parties in this matter. Well, this is my daughter. That's your daughter, Ms. Yes. Sanders. Yes. And what do you have to add? What exactly is your understanding of this situation or your belief? Do you believe Mr. Brady is your daughter's child's father? I believe my daughter. I don't know Mr. Brady. I just... This is my first time ever seeing him. Since Caleb's been born, myself and my husband step up. We buy this baby everything when, when she needs help. We step up. And I called Mr. Brady and I said, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. Caleb is, is six months old. You know, when are you going to step up? When are you going to uh, uh, participate in raising your but son? That's what the dad's for. I'm not... Yeah, dad, but and you... I'm not taking care well, of you the just man said child. all she is is my potential, potential child's mother. So there is a potential. You see, you're why admitting in court else today there's a potential. Kid. The thing is, Your Honor, is that even if you think that he may be your son, won't you feel like a fool if he's your son and you've never contributed one red cent towards taking care of him? You know what I mean? And... And not your, that... your daughter said to you that there are no other possibilities. You've asked her. Honestly, Yana, no, I have not asked her because she said to me that if... that he is the only other potential. So did I go in and go behind her and say, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? No. She said he was one potential and the other. Well, she tested him, and now we're here with this situation, so... Can it be another failed test? <laughs> and you're confident of that, Mr. Brady? Yes, ma'am. Well, this one I mean, said, you would never have a baby that look as good as my child. Come on now. My little boy looks just like me. Both brown eyes, wherever but then he, they got a blue eye baby. At, wherever his daddy at, he got some nice eyes. Yeah, he do, and he's standing right there, Jay, because your eyes don't look it like that. To me, me in the look, man, it like doesn't me. matter. Have you tried to have a DNA test with him before, Miss Sanders? We really had no talking. This is basically like the first time I've seen him in months. After he embarrassed me in front of everybody, I have not had no dealing with him at all. You say he embarrassed you in front of everyone? Yes, one day I'm walking through the neighborhood, he asked, he was like... He just caught my name out the blue. So, I'm like, okay, here we go with this mess again. He said, can I see the baby? I said, yeah. I lift the um, blanket off his head. Here he go. I told y'all that's not my baby. Y'all look, this is not my baby. Look at his eye, that's not my baby. Well, it'd be a nice if somebody else knew besides that's me. <laughs> Lord, please. This, so he did this out in public in yes. front of people? in front of everybody, calling his friends over like he somebody just Somebody got him over besides me. This ain't my baby. And I want somebody to tell me that this ain't my baby because of the same and reason that's why I'm saying that And baby. that is the reason why we're here today. But, sir, listen. At this point, whether they think it's your baby or not, has no bearing on the DNA. If, in fact, this child is yours, you're gonna have to step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Because she says she's really struggling to do this on her own, and she's saying to you, this is your child. You admit in open court it potentially is your child. I have to say I agree with mom, Miss Durham. I don't know. Will you be able to forgive yourself if this is your child that you... Mm -hmm. You've, you're on notice. The baby's here. And you got a job. You said it a thousand times. So he's yeah. Would it hurt that much to just help a little until you find out if, exactly. in fact, it is your child? Exactly. Because if it is, you've missed six months... No, but... ...of his life. I mean, y'all, no, if he if just, if he just not, contributed $2 on up. wipes, I mean, he can buy a pack of wipes for, like, $2. If he buy some milk... But, you milk, know, get something. Milk don't Why? cost that much. I, buy, I do what I gotta do. I but help, you don't do I what you gotta do. You don't take care of another man's child, Caleb. period. So if your, it's a your position is you don't care if it's a possibility that it's yours until you know for sure you will not. So why not? He has to be my months, bloodline. Why not? Why I not find out? No, he's my bloodline. Instead of almost seven months. I why mean, not you going through? You going through? I got to know that he's my bloodline. He's going through. Care of him. He's going through Facebook to find out and asking people on the street, but he won't go through DNA test to find out. Somebody came to me and told me about it. You had to sit down long enough to even get the information. He's going on the street to find out and ask what everybody think, but he won't go and do a. DNA test to They showed out. me the baby and I, I mean, the baby is almost seven months old like now. Or my other son. All right. Well, we've done the DNA test and I have the results. Jerome.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Sanders versus Brady, pertaining to six-month-old Caleb Robinson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Brady, you are not. I told her that was my baby, y'all. Sit down. I told her. Sit down over there. Stand right where you're standing. I told her, y'all. I know it was mine. 100% positive. Miss Sanders, he said he was positive. So who the other possibilities? I really don't understand. So it's not your ex's, it's not his. It was no one else. It was no one else. Had to be. It, it was no one be. else. It has to be somebody else. Gotta be somebody. It has to be has one to be other person at least. Obviously, you have some thinking to do. Because there is at least one other man <clears throat> that could potentially be your child's father. If you're saying you have no idea, you gotta start trying to figure this out for Caleb. Now, Mr. Brady, you've maintained from the beginning that it was not your child. And in fact, the DNA proved just that. As much as I want Caleb to know who his father is, I also want him to have a father that wants him. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williams, from the moment you saw Quinesha Mayberry, you believe that she is your biological daughter, even though the defendant claimed you are not. You hope today's results prove what you have known for 35 years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wynn, you claim that you have never given the plaintiff a reason to believe he is your daughter, Quinesha's father. In fact, you say you have always known who her dad is. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Williams, I'll start with you. Tell me about the moment you realized Quinesha was your daughter. Well, it was the first time I saw her. You know, she just, she looked like me, fair skin, and I just, I just knew she was my daughter. And when was this, sir? When she, um, about a week after she was born. Oh, right after she was born? Yes. You looked at her and you said, this is my daughter. Yep. Because you felt like she looked like you. Well, she's fair-skinned. I was fair-skinned. Her mom is dark and the other guy, he's darker. That's not a lot of criteria. No, but I just felt, <laughs> I felt it in my heart. And most babies are very pale when they're born. Well, I just felt it in my heart that she was mine. So you really did. You had yes. that feeling like, this is my daughter. Yes. And you've held on to that feeling. Yes. And so for 35 years, you've been saying, this is my daughter. Yes. But, Ms. Wynn, you say he's not her biological father. He's not her father, Your Honor. <laughs> Color don't mean nothing. You know, because he light-skinned and she light-skinned, the other guy is dark-skinned, I'm dark-skinned. That don't prove that he's her father. It sure doesn't. I know who's her father. What's well, different not, when you got... It's not Stanley. Well, Your he Honor. seems pretty certain that it is, and I would like to hear his testimony. I want to start with the nature of your relationship. Can you take me back, Mr. Williams, and explain to the court what the nature of your relationship was with Ms. Wynn? Well, we was um, just close friends at one while. They used to live next door to me, and she used to come by where I used to work at probably 30, 40 times a day, just walking in front of the door to get my attention. <laughs> And so, you know, we end up, you know, we did mess around, but it was never a relationship. So how long did this sexual relationship last? Uh, I don't remember, like four or five months, something like that. All right. So, Ms. Wynn, how do you remember your relationship with Mr. Williams? Can you take me back? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember at all. If he said it happened, it must have happened. I don't remember. <laughs> So, it is your testimony you do not remember having sexual relations with Mr. Williams? No, Your Honor. I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember walking past the store and trying to get his attention? Yes. So, you remember both of you all were young and you... He was working in the store and you remember walking past trying to get his attention? Yes, I walked past that shoe shine probably about 10 times a day. 
About That's what he about said. 50 maybe times a maybe day. more. And so what that still he... don't prove he's the father. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Look, she about to take my job, uh, draw. <laughs> Sorry. She <laughs> said that don't prove nothing. <laughs> no, walking past the store doesn't prove he's the father. You're correct. <laughs> I'm trying to get to. Do you remember him asking you on a date or meeting up with him later? Your Honor, I don't remember none of it. <laughs> and if Stanley knew he was to feel that he was a father, he could have been did this test. He used to come get her, take over this house. He could have did it then. Well, if you didn't he want to wait I... 35 years to do this now? If you didn't think I was, why would you let me take your baby? I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem. <laughs> I didn't have a problem, Your Honor. I didn't have a problem with him coming over to taking my daughter, because like you said, we grew up together. He knew my family, I knew his family. I didn't have a problem with him taking my daughter to his house. So wait a minute, I mean, even though you grow up with somebody and you know them, that doesn't mean it's like, come on over and get my daughter and just take her. When would you take Quenisha, Mr. Williams? Well, the first time I took her home to my mom and I asked my mom, I said, um, do she look like me? And my mom said, yeah, that's your baby, Stan. How old was she? Quenisha had to be um, months old. She was months old. I used to and go get her. And you came and picked up a newborn baby. Yes. She and wasn't no newborn. Yes. He ain't got no pictures with her being a newborn. Not with newborns, but I had. I used to go get her all the time. It was once I came and got her for like my nieces and nephews' birthday parties. I used to go get her so she can come and play with the other kids, and I would keep her the duration of the party. How long did that last? How often was that? Well, it wasn't often because I lost contact. I lost contact with them for a long time but I was still looking for her. And you've submitted to the court the one photo you've held on to over these years. Yep. So this is a photo of you and Quenisha. Yes. You took that together many, many years ago. She has to be, what, three or four? Uh, I don't remember how old she was, but yeah, that's one of the photos. Yeah. Well, three. Your Honor, he should have tested her when he had her when she was over his house like that. When she was... Three years old, he should have tested her. What's why it? wait 35 years to do this? And I don't understand why Mr. Stanley brought me all the way here to get a DNA test. For answers. This is something we was already talking about doing anyway. We just had a conversation probably last year that we was gonna go and get a DNA test. And where do she look like him at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. see it. So, Quenisha, he claims you lost contact at some point. Who did you grow up thinking was your father? Um, the man that signed my birth certificate, like, um, I'm, I met him, like, twice. I don't feel like we have a connection. I, I definitely don't look like him. I really don't feel like that's my father. Oh! You had no connection with him? Nope. And you've only seen him, like, two times? Yep. And that was when I was, like, 18, so... Yeah, I've been mom and dad to her, and I'm still mom and dad. You've been a mom and probably a really great mom, but she wouldn't be standing here if you were the dad and could really fill those shoes. You aren't. And that's why she wants to know who her father is. And that's no slight to you. I mean, you may have been an incredible mother, but she still has that desire to know who her father is. That's why we're here to support her and Mr. Williams and you, to try to figure out what in the world is going on. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard a, a, a mom say, I don't even remember this person, <laughs> sleeping with the person. Wow. And the dad be so sure that he's the biological father. This is a first. I don't know. So, Mr. Williams, back in the day, like when this picture was taken, mm -hmm. were you running around saying, here's my daughter, Quenisha? Yeah, that's how I addressed it. When everybody, anybody asked me about her, I'll say this is my daughter. Was anybody else saying this is my daughter? It was uh, um, one situation where I went over to her house and um, her and the guy, was supposed to be her dad, was sitting on the porch. And I walked past him and I went in the house and the next thing I hear is blah, 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 going down the stairs. The guy got mad at her and pushed her down the stairs because he looked at that's me not, that's and not saw her. If he heard somebody pushing me down the stairs, then why he didn't come outside? <laughs> why he up in the house? Hey. <laughs> If I'm hey. supposed to be the mother of his child, why he didn't come outside? Hey. If he heard me falling down the stairs. That's you, not true. You bounced up fast. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you lose touch? I mean, it seems like 
You're picking her up. You're taking her to the birthday parties with the other kids. And he how did you lose to touch? I, I, I lost touch with them because they, they moved. And then um, the last I heard, Quenisha, she was standing in Louisiana. And I was just trolling Facebook and uh, social media. And I saw one of her family members. And I was just going on each one of them until I saw uh, uh, was a post on it that said, Callie repping Bay Bay. And I punched on it, and it was Quenisha. And that's when I reached out to her. And I asked her to ask a family member who I am. And, and they told me. Did you do that? Yes, I did. And then I asked about, like, if he could be my father and a family member was like, yeah, possibly. Quenisha, what were the years like before you reconnected with Mr. Williams? I mean, it was sad because, like, when I didn't want... When she made me mad, I didn't have nobody to go to. And then, like, I had family members that would, you know, tease me about not having a dad. Like, ah ha, that's why you don't have a dad. Really? Yeah. That's so hurtful. Mm -hmm. And so, when you got that message from Mr. Williams, what did you feel? What were you thinking? It's, it's shocking. Like, because, you know, my mom's supposed to have told me I shouldn't have to go to my family. I remember one comment she made to me. She said, uh, I knew that man wasn't my daddy. <laughs> Oh, that other man. Mm -hmm. How did you know that? Because we, we look nothing alike. Like, um, I don't... There's no connection there. So, Mr. Williams, can you tell the court... Describe for the court the experience reconnecting with Quenisha after 20 years. What happened? Now, the only thing we talked about is just getting a DNA test and, you know, just to make it official. Even me and her mom, we've been talking about going half on. That's why I, I don't know why this sounds foreign to her right now, because we've had this conversation before. But nothing ever, ever happened. But why are we getting a DNA test if nothing happened, though, man? Come on now, man. Like I said, he's not her father. I know he's not her father. Well, who is my daddy then? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. It ain't Mr. It ain't Stanley. But how do you know, guy. though? How do you know? What? She don't look nothing like him. Okay. Where, where do you see the resemblance at? Because she light-skinned He lighter than her. She, more, she look more like me. She's just a lighter version. I just, know, we I just, just always We here that today way. just to find out if Stanley is her father. So we can put this all behind it. If this is your daughter, I can't give you the 35 years back. We just could go from here. That's right. And I see you now, Mom. I, I see the emotion in your eyes. What are you feeling now in this moment? What are you feeling? Just... I'm just upset. I'm hurt that it's taking so long, you know. It's my fault that I did this to my daughter, not knowing who was her father. It's not that hard to just be honest. You can spend all day condemning Mr. Williams and everything he did and he didn't do when, you know, I, I, I knew this and that's why I asked you, what was it? What were you really feeling? I'm not, you know, Your Honor, I'm not mad at Mr. Williams because he did this. It's just like, you know, he just took so long to do it. We took so long to do it. We should have right. been did this. Right. We owe this to our daughter, if this is daughter. <laughs> and basically, I want to know, too, to get, you know, it take a, a, a relief off of me, knowing that Mr. William might be her father. Because the truth is, when you say... When she says, who is your father, when you say you don't know, that really is the truth. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to my daughter. I don't know. And do you understand now, Miss Mayberry, your mother really doesn't know. And even though she may say it's not Mr. Williams, the truth is she doesn't know. Yeah, I get that. I totally understand where, where, where she coming from with that. So, we're here now. Are you hoping today, Ms. Mayberry, that Mr. Williams is, in fact, your biological father? Do you believe he is? What do you feel? Well, I'm hoping, because, like, I'm an only child. That means I will have siblings and whatnot. My kids will have another grandparent. Can you look at your mom and tell her what you really feel? Well, Mama, I feel like it, it's always been a piece missing. Like, I always had issues because I wanted brothers and sisters. I know. 
Take your time. Just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cry. We're going to get through this. Okay? I know. Can you finish what you wanted to say? I don't know. I just want to find out the truth. I don't want to keep dragging it along. I just want to know for me and for my kids. And I have those results for you. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Mayberry Williams versus Wynn, when it comes to Quinesha Mayberry, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Williams, you are not the father. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry I could not give you the closure you needed. Ms. Wynn, can you remember, identify, think about any other person you may have been dating at that time? It's the man that signed her birth certificate. And so, Quinesha, well, I guess, you know, sometimes we just have to find, like I always say, the magic in the mess. Like, we hear the magic and, 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 and the miracle of it is that his name's on your birth certificate and you know where he is. No, I don't know where he is. And I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> 